what is up youtube it's the bass boss here with another video now it looks like the audio and my face are not syncing together but um that's because i didn't realize the microphone was uh off so bear with me <laughs> um sorry about that i'll um i'll just provide some commentary so you don't have to be uh bored with <laughs> with just seeing my face moving with no sound so i'm excited for the world cup um i'm using optimillions to predict this thing Bec like if you win if you get all the predictions right or something you get a million dollars so that'd be pretty cool you guys can check out that website optimillion um so here i decided to go for netherlands senegal qatar and ecuador in the in group a um pretty not straightforward but i think qatar can do like a little bit better as the host nation and then ecuador can kind of uh they're they're just gonna you know uh buckle under pressure um and i think netherlands and senegal are a great squad um yeah i i said here like group b and group f were like the most unpredictable i'd say <laughs> um and here I ended up keeping this whole group as it is. Um, and because I think Iran will do something crazy. Like I think USA is not equipped right now to do like have a good performance. I feel I'm going to say England in first, even though like, you know, with them, it's like it's hit or miss sometimes. So I'm just leaving it like that. And Wales, they can pull up a fight. I I think there's going to be like really low scoring affairs here and just like one zero 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 maybe one one stuff like that so but yeah that was my prediction for group b so for group c um i kept argentina you know one of the favorites for the world cup i kept them in first and here i decided to go for poland second i do think their squad is doing a little bit better than you know, when their last World Cup and all that, and I think they have a good, they have a good set of players, I mean, some people from, like, you know, Zielinski from Napoli, um, Lewandowski, of course, I think, I think Mexico is just really underperforming as of late, so I think that Poland will do just enough, and then Saudi Arabia will, will um, stumble into fourth. Now, moving on to Group D. Here, I on I said that I honestly am starting to believe in the World Cup curse. So, definitely, I'm going to put France to crash out in the group stage. And I'm going to put them in third. Uh, then Denmark first. Denmark in first. Then France third. And I'm going to put Tunisia to go through um, in second place. Just a crazy prediction. And then fourth in uh, for Australia. But yeah, I do. I just think Denmark is going to be a strong favorite in that group. And then, but I feel like France is not going to do enough. They they have not been performing as of late, like well as of late. So I think just this curse is going to happen again this year. Um, now moving on to group E, I went, um, I went with Spain in first, and then I actually thought that, um, Spain would get first, and then second place would actually go to Japan, and I know that's a very, um, very strange prediction, but I think for some reason, just, just look at how they performed in the last World Cup. They nearly took took out Belgium. And for some reason, I think I can see like them either drawing or beating Germany. Maybe by one goal, like 1-0, like a crazy uh, close game. And Germany actually bowing out yet again in the group stage. I think something is going to happen in this group that no one is like expecting. Um... So I'm going to, and then I'm going to put Costa Rica in last place. Now, going into group F, 
here in this group i thought it was so tough i like i said b group b and group f are really like the most uh unpredictable groups as well um so but here i kind of thought about putting uh, like having the european teams prevailing actually in this group and it was and it was a bit hard between belgium and croatia for first place um, but I do think that Belgium squad this year is still is still good enough to be good enough to to beat the likes of Croatia and I put Morocco in third and Canada in fourth. Even though I think Canada I maybe put like in second or third in my last prediction a couple months ago, but yeah, I do think if I'm gonna be realistic, I think that Canada is they're gonna come fighting, but not with the experience as the other teams have in this World Cup. So, moving into Group G, I thought have Brazil as one of one of the favorites and have Brazil in first. And I honestly kept it as it is. Um, kept Serbia in second, Switzerland third, and Cameroon in fourth. Now Cameroon, um, I'm not as knowledgeable about them as the other teams but I do think the other teams have a bit more star quality um and just too strong for Cameroon and Brazil is just gonna um do really well and I think Serbia on this time with Vlahovic, uh, Mitrovic, Tadic um just just those star names I think they're gonna do enough um in that group so group H was actually a little bit hard as well. Like, I think it's like, I mean, it's definitely, it's it's such an interesting group because we have like South Korea um, who beat Germany last World Cup. And I think like Uruguay and Ghana, that's going to be a crazy game. Um, I'm, I'd be, I'm excited to watch that one. That's going to be like, like such a throwback. And then we have, Portugal, a side that's like got star quality players, but coach is not is not doing well for them right now. And I just realized like the the controversy with Ronaldo at, at Manchester United right now. I don't know if that'll play into it because it's like why why should like politics get in the way of a football? But um, here in this group, I'm actually gonna go with Uruguay in first place and second place goes to Portugal I think they'll do enough to scrape by and I honestly kept the other two as is Ghana in third and South Korea in fourth I think Ghana a little bit more um we got we got like some talent I know we got Hyun and Son for South Korea but I think just it's it's just not gonna be a good enough I think he's gonna have to carry the whole team it's just is just hard and I think like Ghana will be good enough to get the third place spot now moving on to the round of 16 so to start off I went with Netherlands beating Iran um, Argentina beating Tunisia I think those are pretty safe guesses I'd say but um anything could happen really Spain Croatia is like the first kind of tough matchup to to really predict um, but in this case, I actually went with, um, I, I went with Spain here, um, because I, I do think Croatia is a great team, but I think like the, 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 the striker, I think like what, what Spain has that Croatia lacks is a better attack, I'd say. And then I went with Brazil over Portugal. Um, yeah, I think, I think Portugal's run ends there. England, Senegal everyone has this in the predictions and I do think it'll happen. And then, and England will prevail. Um, just in the latter stages of the competitions, they're great. Um, Denmark versus Poland, I say, but Denmark and then Belgium, I, I got a rematch of the last world cup. I know I said Japan would be underrated, but I do think Belgium will have, will do a little bit better this time. And then Uruguay beating Serbia. I don't know if people would expect that, but I do think Uruguay is somehow going to, like, surprise everyone. Um, and then 
moving on to the quarterfinals, Netherlands, Argentina. Now, I kind of said like, oh, like Italy was in like a 30 something match win streak and like they didn't predict them to win the um, Euros and like now it, and now with like Argentina, it was, I, I don't know, I felt it's kind of strange they didn't do that with Italy, but now they're doing it with Argentina. And I honestly, I'm going to go with bold and I'm going to say their run ends here with the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands is going to, is going to, um, like, you know, surpass everybody's expectations. And I think Spain, Brazil, I, w- I was a little quick there, but I did say Brazil because I just think, I just think Spain with the ball, um, against Brazil, they're just, they're going to play possession based football, but like, I think Brazil is going to capitalize on that to be honest and and they're just going to counter and just do amazing with the ball and then Denmark versus England I'm going to say Denmark gets its revenge on England um because I do think they're an underrated side quality side and I feel like they could really make a deep run and I went with Belgium uh to go through um so we have the semifinals Netherlands versus Brazil just in a classic world cup um match in history and i went with brazil to go to the final and then denmark denmark belgium i would love to see that as well um i do think that denmark's run will end here and belgium will take uh the second finalist spot um leaving and for third place netherlands denmark i do think that the netherlands will do enough to get third place and then the final like it's i just have to go with one of the favorites and and brazil is just so stacked right now i i think that they're playing with so much confidence um so much ease as well um it's not going to be an easy path through this world cup but i do think i do think they have what it takes um so just let me know your guys' predictions um in the youtube comments and whatnot And um, I'm excited for this World Cup. I hope you guys are too. Um, I hope you guys have a good week um, in preparation for the World Cup. And I'll catch you in the next video. I'll make more predictions. All right? Peace.